Finally, another tutorial. Let's get to it. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a belt to bride transformation on my gorgeous model, Ruby. To complete your transformation, I'm using this beautiful bridal headband I got from the Antique Apparel on Instagram, so let's begin. First off, I'm starting by mattifying her brow area. This is so the pencil can glide on easy onto her face, onto her brows. Finally, I'm filling in her brows with light strokes while I'm gently building an arc and a tail on the brow. So I switched the Younger Beauty Brow Lotion Pencil to create more hair-like strokes at the beginning of her brows and I'm stroking in the direction her hair grows and brushing through with the spoolie provided to blend the products into her brow. Next up, I'm cleaning up her brows with the concealer. You can use a cream or a liquid based product but I opted for a cream and I'm just carefully tracing what I had sketched on as close as possible and blending downwards. Don't forget to like and subscribe! God knows what she's analyzing. Next up, I am blending a cool toned brown eyeshadow into the outer corner of her eyes and taking the leftover product of my brush into the center of her eyes. Next, I'm blending away all hash lines with the face powder. You can use any lightweight powder to blend out any hash lines. Now I'm applying eyeshadow on her lid with a flat fluffy brush and blending in as I go. Please note I had already applied an eyeshadow primer on her eyelid. Thank you. Next up, I'm applying false lashes and I'm pressing them in place with my fingers. And for some reason, holding it very way. Using a thin liner brush to apply my gel eyeliner. Please note that this 77 gel eyeliner is a smudge proof and waterproof eyeliner, so it's perfect for the brides. Now, the key to great, beautiful skin on your wedding day is hydration. I'm using a mattifying lotion and also a hydrating moisturizer. Next off, I'm using the silicone based primer from Zara Cosmetics. This helps the fill pores and creates for a smoother appearance for the foundation to glide on. Now I'm color correcting and I'm mixing the orange concealer with a flesh toned shade to reduce that orange. Because most times I find that the orange pips through, to, through the foundation and even in pictures. Blending everything in my beauty blender. I applied foundation off camera and now I'm highlighting the creamy concealer. I prefer to use a flat brush to spread, spread the products evenly before going in with my beauty blender. Now I'm bouncing my beauty blender over the highlighted areas. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you, thank you very much. Moving on to contour, I'm using my black opal foundation stick in black walnut. I think this is the darker shade they have. It's a cool toned shade, so it's great for contour. Now I'm using the second darker shade and that is suede mocha with a smaller fluffy brush to contour her nose. I'm applying a creamy lipstick from Inglot Cosmetics. And I'm applying a lip, it's a nude lip gloss from L'Oreal. I'm sorry I don't have information on what color it is but it's a pinkish nude gloss. From your spreading it and blending it in with my lip brush. I'm using my 4 in 1 Zaran Cosmetics brush and dipping it lightly into my Bobbi Brown highlighter. Little 
glows a long way, guys. Now switch to a smaller brush and apply the highlighter in small areas of the face. And now our transformation is completed. I present to you our beautiful bound bride. Doesn't she look gorgeous, guys? I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you, guys. Mwah.